Good afternoon, <coughs> Chiefs. I'm Anchor One. Oh my God. And I'm Anchor Two. Today is Thursday, November 7, 2019. Mental illness awareness is this week, and SGA has a, provided a clip each day this week to shed a little light on mental health awareness. When I struggle with my mental health, uh, I see, I say 10th grade year, I was really going through it and I was doing bad in school and I thought everything was gonna end, but you know, I got through it and now we're successful, balling and all that what shit. What helped you cope? What helped me cope? Um, my friends were very supportive of my situation and they knew what I was going through, so they really helped me. What'd you learn? Yeah, Miss Pierce is in there. What is a time in your life? Wait, where, where, where am I looking at? <laughs> look at the camera, look at the camera. It doesn't matter. Sorry. We're gonna crop it, it's okay. What is a time in your life where you struggled with your mental health? Um, so a time in my life when I struggled with my mental health was definitely uh, transitioning in between college and real life, I would say, like figuring out how to be an adult and a grown up. And I had really, really, really horrific anxiety. It was really bad. Like there were points where I couldn't leave my house bad. Um, I ended up, I ended up going to therapy and like getting outside help. Um, and I learned how to meditate, which I do twice a day now. Every single, every single day I meditate. I, for me, it's the same thing as like eating breakfast or taking a shower. Um, and talking to other people because it turns out lots of people suffer from anxiety and, and feel sort of stressed out. Oh, I learned a couple of things. Um, one, that a lot of the fears that I have, once I talked about them, didn't seem so bad. Um, I learned that there are lots of things that I could do to improve the situation, um, both on my own and with other people. And I would also say that, um, nope, that's it. <laughs> This is a reminder, we are a closed campus for lunch between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. No one is allowed to leave lunch during these hours until the end of the school year. Thank you for Attendance is very important. Students are expected to attend, attend school every day. The first bell, bell rings at 7.25 a.m. Please make sure you arrive on time. There will, there will be an inter informational ACE diploma meeting during both lunches in the media center today. Thursday, November 7th. Students who believe they are eligible for the ACE Diploma and students that have earned the ACE Diploma are encouraged to attend. You can bring your lunch to eat while listening. This meeting will discuss important requirements and information regarding the ACE Diploma, such as transcripts, paperwork, etc. Any questions about the meeting or ACE in general, contact Ms. Perchua. The 7th Annual San Lucia's Care Package, Care Package Drive is now underway. Support San Lucia's in... in <laughs> Support Santa Lucia's in sending care packages to U.S. service members deployed overseas during the holidays. For more information, please see the ROTC department. This week, you may nominate yourself to interview for the Pathfinders of Santa Lucia's. If chosen to represent Santa Lucia's, you will then compete with high-achieving seniors from other schools. The Palm Beach Post sponsors the Pathfinder Awards and each year. They award scholarships to 54 of the best and brightest high school seniors in Palm Beach and Martin counties. If you are a highly academic senior with a vision of a career path in one of those categories listed on the screen, you may complete a self a self nomination form in the guidance office. If you have an abundance 
of community service hours outside of Santa Lucia, so you may want to nominate yourself in that category. Teachers, if you would like to nominate a highly motivated senior, please see your department instructional leader. Pathfinder's nominations forms may must be submitted to the guidance office no later than Tuesday, November 12th. If you have questions, see Ms. Mo in the guidance center or your guidance counselor, in the media center or your guidance counselor. Our varsity football chiefs will host Treasure Coast on Friday, November 8th at 7.30 p.m. in a regional playoff game. Tickets are $8. Only clear bags are permitted. Come out and support our chiefs. Remember, everyone must wear IDs to school each and every day. You wearing your ID? Well, Chiefs, that's all we have for today. Well, Chiefs, that's all we have for you today. I'm Cheyenne Johnson. And I'm Anchor Phillip. Have an amazing day.